Hi guys, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to subtract octal numbers. So let us say you are given the number 42 in octal minus 5. Again, this is in octal. So how do we subtract octal numbers? So we start operating again at the rightmost part digit of the given number. So we have here 2 minus 5. So 2, 2 minus 5 here cannot be. So 2 will borrow 1 from 4. So 4 here becomes 3. Now, in octal subtraction, each one borrowed is equivalent to 8. Okay? So don't forget that. So meaning to say, if 2 will borrow 1 from 4, each one borrowed is equivalent to 8. So 2 now here becomes 10. And then proceed. 10 minus 5 is 5. Then bring down 3. So the answer is 35. Okay, so let's have another example. Say you are given 120 in octal minus 52. So how are you going to subtract uh, this octal number? So we start with 0 minus 2. Cannot be. So 0 will borrow 1 from 2. 2 will become 1. 0 here will become 8. Okay. So 8 minus 2 is 6. 1 minus 5 again cannot be. So 1 will borrow 1 from 1. 1 will become 0. 1 here will become 9. And then 9 minus 5 is 4. So the answer is 46. Let us have another example. Say you are given 321. This is in octal minus 52. in octal so how do we subtract this number so we have 1 minus 2 cannot be so 1 will borrow 1 from 2 2 will become 1 1 here will become 9 and then we proceed 9 minus 7 9 minus 2 is 7 1 minus 5 cannot be 1 will borrow 1 from 3 3 will become 2 1 will become 9 and then we proceed 9 minus 5 is 4 and then we bring down 2 so the final answer is 200 47. So for our last example, let's have, say you are given 4005, this is in octal, minus 163. So again, to subtract these numbers, we start with 5 minus 3, that is 2. We have here again trailing zeros, just like what we did in uh, binary subtraction. So before 0 can borrow from 0, 0 here should borrow first from 4. So in this case, we have to borrow, the 0 will borrow from 4. So 0 will borrow 1 from 4, 4 will become 3, 0 here will become 8. Since this is already 8, 0 here can now borrow from uh, 8. So if this 0 will borrow 1 from 8, 8 will become 7, 0 here will become 8. And then proceed. So 8 minus 6, we have 2. 7 minus 1 is 6. And then we bring down 3. So the answer is 3, 6, 2, 2. So that's it guys for our octal subtraction. So now if we want to check if our answer is correct, again we are going to convert the octal number into decimal. So we are going to take our uh, previous example. Say you are given uh, 42, base 8, minus 5. Again, that is in base 8. So to do it, let's have 2 minus 5 cannot be. So 2 will borrow 1 from 4. 4 will become 3 and 2 will become 10. Now, why 10? Because as we said earlier, each one borrowed in octal is equivalent to 8. So we add 8 to 2, that becomes 10. And then we proceed, 10 minus 5 is 5, then bring down 3. So the answer is 35. So again, to check if our answer is right, we are going to convert these numbers into decimal. So to convert octal number to decimal, we simply multiply it to exponents of 8, starting from 8 raised to 0, then, ra then 8 raised to 1, 8 squared, 8 cubed, and so on and so forth. Depends on the number of digits that we are going to convert. So, so to do this, let us remember that in mathematics, any number raised to 0 is equivalent to 1, 
and any number raised to 1 is the number. Okay, so let us proceed. So 8 raised to 0 is 1 times 2 is 2. 8 raised to 1 is 8 times 4 is 32. So adding this, we have 34. So meaning to say, 42 here in decimal is 34. Now how about 5? Since we only have 1 digit, so we have 5 times 8 raised to 0. Again, 8 raised to 0 is 1 times 5, that is equivalent to 5. So we are actually subtracting 5 from 34, which is 29. Now let us check if 29 is equivalent to 35. So we need to convert a 35 to decimal. So to do that, again, we convert it by multiplying it to exponents of 8 raised to 0 and then 8 raised to 1. So 8 raised to 0 here is 1 times 5 is 5. 8 raised to 1 is 8 times 3 is 24. So this gives us 29. Okay? So therefore, our answer is correct.